What is good YouTube, what's you here with a video on the sequel to Spider-Man PS4 which could be Spider-Man 2 or Spider-Man PS5. So this is going to be my Spider-Man video in the video game series that I'm doing on this channel. If you are new around here, make sure to subscribe to never miss any of the videos at the 100,000 subscriber mark will be giving away a really darn rad prize. So let's get into it. So. The way Spider-Man PS4 ended, careful for spoilers, it set up Harry Osborn to be some variation of Venom, which is pretty cool because it seems like they're not going down the basic route of making Eddie Brock Venom, as that's usual, the Brock, but also there's been other variations of Venom, i.e. Flash Thompson, I'm sorry, Flash, etc. So it is going to be very interesting to see how it pans out. But according to the internet, the lore on the internet is that the entire plot leak has leaked for Insomniac Marvel Spider-Man 2 PS5 and Miles Morales is going to be playable. So we're going to go over a bunch of articles and a bunch of rumors about Spider-Man PS5. So this is kind of content you like then make sure to subscribe so never miss any of the videos. So holiday 2021 release date, probably September like Spider-Man PS5 was. I mean, this would still be quite realistic as this game came out in 2018. So they've at least already been working on it for two years. Revealed this summer, that could be changed now because you know, Batman Arkham 2022, that's supposed to be coming out very soon and we've not even had an official release date or any confirmation that it even exists. Reveal this summer, uh, I don't think it will be. No online co-op completely single player i am a fan of this i really am a fan of keeping it offline queens and brooklyn will feature new gameplay mechanics to facilitate the low building traversal set during winter set approximately five to six months after the first game peter is still mourning aunt may and constantly reminds himself of what happened nj and him live together but she is away for the entire first arc of the story. Oscorp is attempting to clone certain DNA to build a super soldier goes wrong. New villains spawn from this. Harry Osborn will become Venom, but it's a unique, unique take on the character, my source said. Carnage and Mysterio are in this game, which is kind of interesting because as you know, Carnage is going to appear in the Venom 2 movie, which comes out in October, and Mysterio just recently appeared in Spider-Man Far From Home, but Mysterio is technically going to be part of the Sinister Six, allegedly in the MCU. Eddie Brock is in the game and a major character, which is interesting that Eddie Brock is Venom, but here it's saying Harry Osborn will become Venom. So does a symbiote jump from Harry Osborn over to Eddie Brock? We don't know. Miles Morales is playable in sections of the game. Now, this is freaking awesome because if you've watched Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse, okay, it's not Spider-Man, it's Spider-Verse. Into the Spider-Verse is the, one of the greatest Spider-Man movies ever, in my opinion. So it's cool that Miles Morales will be playable in certain aspects of the game. They're still unsure whether to let the player free roam as him but being as it isn't being thrown out completely just yet so it's cool it is really cool that you're gonna be able to flick between spider-man and miles morales as we know miles morales is now spider-man he got the powers at the end of the ps4 game essentially but i don't think they should kind of give you free roam to pick completely to play miles morales over peter parker so that is a cool variance think about monarchum system where you could switch between the bat family characters in certain sections same thing here not very original but it's fun yeah it's cool a new web chain mechanic is how my contact named it you can basically chain together web zips so when you reach a point he immediately zips to the next and so on which is really cool one thing i didn't like about spider-man ps4 is the limitations of the swinging you can only do certain tricks and stuff but when you swing in it needs to vary and i wish you could use both sides of the pad that would be much better so let's go over some more web swing and overhaul they've gone all out on the animation tech this time so we won't see the same animation as much more variety not only are they bringing the animations from spider-man ps4 over the swing releases they are adding many 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 it literally says that they have they have two new animators devoted completely to solely to the web release animations throughout the entire development of the cycle, which is pretty cool. But what is also pretty cool is they haven't specified if this is Spider-Man PS5 or if it is going to be on the PS4. Seeing as how many PS4s they've sold, it, it wouldn't be very good to not release it on PS4 as well. How much money Insomniac Games could make 
but obviously Insomniac Games is now owned by Sony Entertainment so it's going to be very interesting so let's carry on there will be three swing modes realistic arcade and hybrid naming still not confirmed realistic is very Spider-Man 2-esque that is just pure physics. Arcade is a little fake assistance, and hybrid is a merge of the two, basically pit Spider-Man PS4 swinging. More details to follow over the year, maybe, but not sure, depends if my contact keeps telling me stuff. So that, that sounds pretty darn interesting if you ask me, guys. So also, another website had a different variant of this so it said but while eddie brock traditionally hosts venom is in the game and has a major role of harry osborne traditionally one of the people to take up the mantle of the green goblin will become venom so it is interesting and also this kind of i guess you say leak or rumor suggests that we will be getting the sinister six inside this game which is kind of irrelevant because we've already had the sinister six in spider-man ps4 right throughout so to speak so it is interesting how it goes on to say that oscorp and we are going to get winter we're going to get the winter in the video game which doesn't sound like much but if you've done any coding you would understand that changing weather in video games is not an easy thing to do it's really not an easy thing to do when you do start to change the weather because obviously it's pure physics and there's a lot of mathematical equations that would be involved with that. So the biggest part about this leak that seems to be pretty realistic is they have two animators devoted to the webs. Which doesn't sound like a lot. So two individual designers focusing purely on a web cycle on the web swing which is pretty darn awesome so miles morales being a playable character is gonna be an absolute game changer and i really want to see what they mean if it is real where it says harry osborne is going to become venom but then it also says that eddie brock is in the game and as we've just discussed tom hardy's venom venom 2 Eddie Brock is Venom, but there has been loads of variations of Venom, Flash, etc. Harry Osborn is going to be taking a part of Venom here. But what is interesting is they're basically teasing that Norman Osborn will become the Green Goblin. Though this doesn't say anything about the Green Goblin. Something that I think is perfect about Spider-Man and PS4 is it's the greatest movie. But it's not a movie. It's the greatest Spider-Man movie we've ever had. It's a grown-up Peter Parker. He lost you know his uncle now he's lost aunt may he's literally lost everyone but he keeps moving i think the biggest property the biggest problem they have with the property when it comes to the movie is they keep having a young version of spider-man just make him in his 20s we do not need to keep seeing spider-man going to school going to high school and that kind of stuff and that is why this game is freaking perfect it doesn't really focus too much on characters and villains in this as it only says carnage mysterio and venom but will the characters in the first game from the sinister six will rhino scorpio shocker will all them kind of characters return so it is gonna be very interesting and it would be fascinating if there was an online co-op but i think because it's exclusive to the playstation and or also you've got to think marvel avengers is coming out in september allegedly and we don't know if there's going to be any cross connection there as we know marvel avengers is on the xbox as well so because sony exclusively has spider-man at least in the spider-man game if spider-man ps five or ps4 we don't know what which variation if it's going to be on the ps4 if it's online it might cause some confusion with other gaming fans i guess they haven't really concurrently said if spider-man is going to appear in marvel avengers i don't think he will because everyone seems to thought the spider-man game started this spider-man cinematic universe or the i guess you say the marvel gaming cinematic universe but the problem is if it's exclusive to the playstation then it can't be a cinematic universe because everything has to tie to everything now i know what you're going to say there's avengers tower there's the doctor strange sanctorium in spider-man ps4 yeah there's loads of avengers easter eggs spider-man easter eggs there's venom easter eggs there's so much but i i really don't think 
the games can cross over if it is exclusive to the PlayStation. That is why Marvel Avengers isn't having Spider-Man. Obviously, if you look at the sales for merchandise, Spider-Man, 1.2 billion per year. So it, it makes no sense for them to merge Spider-Man with the Marvel Avengers game because it, it really doesn't make much sense when it comes to marketing because Spider-Man kills it by itself. But is Spider-Man going to appear in Marvel Avengers? I hope not. But Marvel Avengers is online. Spider-Man PS4 and allegedly Spider-Man PS5 isn't online. So it's going to be very interesting to see what happens in the future of gaming. Now, would I like a current cinematic universe of video games between all the platforms? No, not really, because I think each platform has to have their own unique selling point and it would just be ridiculous if Spider-Man eventually went to Xbox or PC. It would just make no sense to me because obviously you buy a console for a certain reason or PC games only for a certain reason. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe and comment. If you've got any requests for another video in my video game series, this is the third one. The first one was God of War 5 or God of War PS5. The second was Horizon Zero Dawn sequel or Horizon Zero Dawn 2. And this one is Spider-Man PS5. Everything that we know so far, it's looking like Miles Morales will have a functional part in this video game. So like always, guys, please like, subscribe and comment. I'll get you in another video very soon. Get you later.